Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell and from Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery. In the gallery slash studio with a plastic sand shovel, a junky acrylic tray I found someplace for like a quarter at the flea market, and some containers that will serve as thinner shovels. Should I put colors in here? I, and I will. Which means I'm going to start with what I just made up as a base, which is my Anita's White Metallic which is inexpensive and works really well for me for almost everything. Then I'm going to proceed and hope that my hot orchid from Color Art will show up. This is supposed to be foliage, but I've been looking at the, um, the yellow-green plant outside my door with, uh, with orange and red foliage leaves turning on it, and um, it's encouraged me to go ahead and do whatever I want. This is That was a turquoise from Color Shifting Turquoise from Folk Art. That is an emerald green color shifting from Folk Art. I think you could do this with regular greens and other colors. That is a green gold from Folk Art, color shifting also. This is a color shifting, there's a theme here, Purple Flash from Folk Art. And I'm just gonna, ooh, that's closed up. That was open last time I went to get it. That is mostly an Anita's white metallic with Venetian blue from Modern Masters in it. And I want some darker, darker colors in my dioxazine. Purple is also threatening to close up on me. Well, let's just go light. Sometimes I like the patterns that the little droplets add, so It'll just go everywhere, and it'll fake cells. This is the uh, this is the Decor Americana 24 karat gold. This is the 24 karat gold with some orange in it. This is more of the orange I want to see in there. This is a pink that's not necessarily my first go-to, but it makes everything it livens everything else up. I've been thinking about red, so I think I'm going to put some of that in there. Yep, that's going to help me out. I haven't used any yellow for a while. I think I'm going to use some of the Golden Hour from Arteza. And maybe a little bit of this lighter orange, which usually is another thing that makes things pop. And because I'm a big fan of the prism pour from Color Art Hot Orchid. I'm going to put some more of that back in there. And then, what else? I think some of the uh, Anita's on top. What do I like the most in there that I want more of? That, or what do I see that I don't have very, not, very much of? Did I make that whole, all that red sank? Wow, that's bizarre. Alright, so this is some neon purple from Folk Art. Hopefully these will turn out to look better than they do in this container. I can't put Venetian blue in there. What can I put in there instead? I want some other blue. This is a cobalt, which is really close to the Venetian blue. Alright, I'm just going to stop and put this aside for right now. I might even put some black or some Prussian blue in there. I think some Prussian blue. It's definitely in order. And I know I'm still doing it. And some yellow that I need to take the plug out of the top. Let's bring in my black pre-primed canvas that I primed again about an hour ago. I have a fan going in my studio. My spatula, my OXO omelet turning spatula, this one spreads paint so well when you have Floetrol in your recipe that it levels it out just like you see it. It's pretty good. That's just one coat on top of a black canvas. That's why I use the black canvases. So I got enough yellow, enough air to put some yellow in there. And hopefully that'll be good enough. I'm just putting the kitchen sink in there. <laughs> so Here's my plan. My plan is to use some chain and make some flowers and then go back with my shovel. 
afterwards, where is the white? I think the pink will work. I don't usually put gold in, but I'm going to try it. Put most of that chain in my hand. Call that one good. Come out. <laughs> the problem with using the bottles of paint is obviously as you do so, you get some into the tip and then you have this problem. So that's the white metallic from Anita's. I want some more of that gold. I really like it. And I really like the color shifting. I want to grab some turquoise too. You know what? I want to do that right now. Where are you turquoise? I might put some dots on these. I may put some more spirals. I might do that right now. I kind of want some of my magenta. Yes. That's a golden magenta with some iridescent pearl fine mixed into it. I'm not having any luck covering that top portion. I haven't done any chain flowers for a while, can you tell? I'm doing another one right there. I'm going to take a chance. If you need a color or you have a question, please don't be shy. Go ahead and ask. I will help you if I can. And if I can't, I'll let you know somebody who can. And if I don't know somebody who can, I'll tell you that too. I want some of that lighter blue right there. Yes. Generally speaking, I go for maybe two or three colors. That's bugging me. I'm going to try and fix that right now. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I have a lot of colors. And out, wind it back out. So, if I have room for anything else, I'll do that afterwards. This is, um, that chain is going in the bucket. I've got more chain. I'm going to grab a shovel full of paint. Scrape off the bottom. attempt the impossible, no, <laughs> an attempt to do stuff, something that I haven't done before. That would be keeping my bottles out of the way. I don't know which way to go with that. kind of want to go that way. knocking anything over. Definitely want more green in there. I'm going to have to do another painting. I make too much color. And my green gold is right there. And this time I will try.
go up. If I went, came back tomorrow, I could do dry ones over the top, and that might be really cool. I'm going to try and cheat now. I'm going to try and keep cheating now. Actually, I could bring that... Right down there. Trying to get the paint to flow all the way to the edge. And I am using a skewer just to nudge paint. I actually have some right below me dripped right down. It's perfect. I like the odd shapes. If I leave enough spaces, I'll be able to put some more flowers in. I'm not sure. I definitely think an odd number is best. I keep wondering if I can get enough paint off. So, I need something else. I need a little bit of paint. Thought I was going to use that other tool. Maybe I ought to try it. Well, if it's going to be like that, I'm just going to do it all the way down. That's where accidental art becomes something new and interesting. All right, I guess I'm going to try it. Wow. I'm nervous. Let's try. Yeah, I can get away with that, I hope. These are awesome colors. It's precarious. If I just tip my container forward, it will usually help relax some of the contents down. So far so good. I think I'm just going to wind up putting some green stems on my flowers. <laughs> as weird as that seems under these circumstances. Maybe I'm just going to use some of my colors. Right at the base. Of each one.
I want some more green and I don't have very much left that I can see. There, I'm not minding that. Grab a little more green. Oh, I like the green. I wish I'd used a whole lot more of that. I am having a good time. It's a little stressful doing something brand new, but you know what? It's worth it. I can see putting another flower there, but I need another one still if I'm going to have five. And I could put one down here, maybe. Okay, let's, let's be risky. Needs to be just tiny. A bud. Just a little bud. Come out. Come out without exploding. Thank you. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork, and if you're looking for my email address to contact me, it's right under the link tree where you can also find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I need a dot of blue there. I might even want some turquoise. I do want some turquoise. Do I want some red or some pink? I do. <laughs> you know what? In for penny, in for pound. It's going to have some gold as well. And it looks like a good flower without even adding chain to it. Perfect. Except for I want another little spiral right there. It occurs to me I can use my chain to pull those little tendrils right up. Although I like some of the patterns in them. I'm seeing go away. Cool. One more flower and we should be done. Whew. I don't think I can finish with you guys, but I'll try. I should turn, the, turn it around now so you can see what you can see, I guess. I'm going to dip my... i got one minute left to tell you guys. Please check the end screen video for the... For the drawing, if you want to be in the drawing, make a donation through PayPal or Patreon. You can find the links both on my link tree below the video and also on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner. I want more paint there. Alright, I don't think there's a whole lot left to fix. There's going to be one more flower in this, but that's but I wanted to show you guys. That's pretty awesome. I'm happy. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Please give me a thumbs up. When you like my videos, you help my channel survive. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> it always looks better through the, through the monitor. Uh, thank you very much for all the compliments. Thank you for the morale boosting words, kind words. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link. Look for all of our print leggings and t-shirts at Teespring underneath the video. If you have questions, ask me my paint pouring recipes underneath the video. I love you guys. Don't forget my email is under the link tree. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Look for my Facebook groups on the link tree. I love you guys. I'll see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida.